some God's word. What about the weekdays from Monday through Saturday? Am I walking in God? Am I getting help from God? Am I asking Him to come before me and guide me, protect me? See, the relationship is lacking. Today's Christians, we must be very careful. That's the tendency, the stat came out. 10 to 15 years of church life, I know everything now. Easter, we celebrate, we do, we have gourmet food. Some of them is going to get baptized. We all know that. We're so used to it. That's the danger. That's not what God is asking from us. See, the reason you come to the church on Sunday is how you live. You live, reflect yourself to God. For the past six days, how I, how I used to live. Is that what you want me to live? Did I please you, God? All sorts of things. Someday you come and you share with the body of Christ in the church. And then God will show the lacking area in your life. Okay, I can discipline, I can train. And the way every week we change ourselves little by little to become the image of Jesus Christ. That's the whole purpose. If you didn't know up until today, I want you to shift your thoughts. This is not just the habitual things you come to church and just taking part of worship and fellowship. That's not it. God, if I did something wrong, something against your wills this week, Teach me, correct me. The next week, I will walk in you. I'll try my best to listen to your voice. Because Jesus is coming back. Second coming of Jesus. First coming, only few people saw who Jesus was. When he was born. In the manger, how many people? Mary and Joseph, who else? Three? Magi. So together five people. But, second coming, what does scripture proclaim that? Every tongue, every knee, every people on earth will see. So no longer it's a secret. When he's coming back, there is only two, two things, right? One is judgment. Second, salvation. That's it. When Jesus comes, oh, Jesus, my Lord of Lords, my King, I'm not ready. Can you wait for me five minutes? I'll go change my suit. Take a shower and cleanse me up. And I'll come back. There is no such thing. While He is up there, He's waiting for us to be equipped, to be prepared as His bride. When He appears Himself as a groom, we are all His bride. We need to be cleansed. We need to be ready. Right or more, the moment. Otherwise, we're going to be left behind. So this is very important. He's coming back. That's why day by day, we have a hope. Because Holy Spirit is within us. He will tell us. He will guide us. Until He comes back. We need to be ready. So intimacy with God is very important. Relationship. Whether I am in Him or with Him. 
See, there are too many things in our hearts, in our heads. Head is spinning. How fast? Anyone measure that right before you go to, go to bed? Wow, it's, it's very high speed. Maybe 200 miles per hour. So we cannot go into sleep easily. That's why we miss the voice of God. He's constantly speaking to Wu. <laughs> but he has too much things he missed out. I don't hear God. Please say it again. Okay, we have one more clip here. Brian, can you turn the light off? That's the last, the word of the Bible, last chapter, the revelation, coming soon. The day and hour, Jesus said, only my Father knows. Not even himself. But coming back, Is his promise. No matter what, he will come back. But we don't know the, the hour and date. But until that time, we need to prepare. So, next one. So, what should we remember this Easter? Okay, this is the important part because we're still here on earth. We haven't left this world to be with the Lord yet. We must understand, I get a second chance. So today is the day. You just ask for the forgiveness of your sins, and He will give you salvation. He will give you eternal life. Because Ephesians 1, 7 is the forgiveness of sins. Because the reason He came to this world to die for us, to forgive our sins. So I get a second chance. Because now I, I have eternal life. So from this moment on, I have to fight against myself. 